so triage is going to be quite important here. Um, we've got animals spread over a large area and in, in a really challenging location. So um, we're going to uh, basically take the, the animals with the best chance um, to start with and the ones that we're able to deal with. So some animals may be simply too big or in, a, in an unsuitable location to, um, to, to actually deal with. So there'll be a little bit of triage involved. This, this morning's phase will be critical in determining what's possible. Um, and then we'll have to deal with um, other factors like weather, like tides, um, and all that will come into it. So uh, it's likely to take days. Um, we'll have a good idea, hopefully by the end of today, exactly what's possible and um, potentially be able to predict how we're going to go, how we're going to track um, for the rest of the operation. Uh, we've rescued about 25 at the present time uh, and escorted them uh, out the channel and out to sea. Um, and crews are continuing to work. So that number will increase before we get to the end of the day. Uh, we're, we're still just giving a general estimate of, we think about a third uh, of the whales have perished, uh, but we'll be looking to do a more detailed assessment tomorrow uh, using infrared um, camera imagery uh, from the air. As far as we, can, we, we know, this was a natural event. So. Um, we can accept that we're going to lose some animals. Um, this is such a tricky event, such a, a complex event, that any way we save, we're considering a, a real win. Um, so we're focusing on, on uh, you know, having as many survivors as we can. So focusing on the live animals, that's, that's what we're focused on now. And like I said, any, anything we get off and, and back to sea is a real win. Uh, so there, there's always a risk when we reflight animals and, and take them out to sea, there is a risk that they will return uh, and, and re-strand. Um, we have seen that you know, in past occasions. Um, it depends on a whole range of factors uh, around animal condition uh, and local environmental factors. So yeah, it's something we, we, uh, we do see. We're hopeful that that's not going to be the case, but um, it wouldn't be unexpected if, if some animals did re-strand.